Guess how many boat issues came up after Happy Seas' offshore passage from Norfolk to Grenada? No really, take a guess, and we'll see if you're right. After addressing as many as we could, we eagerly cast off the docks to continue cruising, snorkeling spectacular underwater statues and marine parks. We make a couple of rolly in-between island passages and wonder if these are the typical seas for the Caribbean. Back out at anchorages, some crowded, almost all gorgeous, we enjoy our remaining time exploring this beautiful country. As Happy Seas made her way to the Caribbean on her two-week offshore passage, I knew the list of repairs was growing with every passing day. While I eagerly awaited moving back onto the boat, I braced myself for what I knew to be at least several days of boat work to come. Okay, easy one first. Jury rig bowsprit. The local store did not have the correct clevis pin size. Repair deferred. Number two, owner cabin lights stopped working. Turned out to be a completely corroded dimmer switch. Can't get this part in the Western Hemisphere, so I swapped it out with our front cockpit lights that we don't use too much until we can get an alternative. But why did this rust out in the first place? Where's the leak coming from? Three, front locker latches will not latch. Often it's like a detective mystery. How on earth did this happen? Slam this hatch here with these locks engaged, bent the bolt upwards, and now this angle won't allow it to close. We like just bend it back. Four, starboard bow has a saltwater leak. Crash locker is full of water again. You'll remember we first discovered this leaving the Bahamas last year, and we thought we addressed this problem at the boatyard over the summer, but I guess not. Ah, this is why our lights shorted out. Our front locker couldn't drain properly because the mats we laid down blocked the scuppers. 6. Port Louis Marina was sweltering hot. And when does our AC decide to act up? 7. Lost a bolt on the swim ladder. Okay, at least this one was easy. Towards the last part of the passage, the engine's water and fuel warning started alarming. We have Raycore filters installed so you can clearly see that there's no water in the fuel. Well, after joining this, yes. And water's got into that sleeve. And it's corroded and it's come across. It's corroded in here. Okay, if you look inside, uh, look inside at that. your sleeve is totally corroded. Yeah, look at that oh, yeah. the green shit corrosion, yeah. It's so, on waterproof connections. Yeah. So shorted that out yeah, to close. Sorted across it. Oh my goodness, okay. We use these only in a dire emergency if we have to. But if we're doing an install of something new, we would use the sealed ones like we used there. So that we never put these in a shrink over it because Number one, you can't see what's going on, and this is a moisture trap, big time. So it's better to have, if you're using these, to separate just like that. Yeah. Just use some cable tie, a small one here, and a small one there to keep it together, but at least you don't trap the moisture in it. A relief it wasn't something more serious, or something where you'd have to wait weeks for a part to get in. Dealing with these issues took us four days at the marina, and we were eager to get off the docks once they were addressed. Happy Seas, I know there's outside Grenada Yacht Club. This is Happy Seas. We just cast off of the Marina at Port Louis, wondering if we were able to come over to the field dock over. Very good, Roger that. I'll push the field dock and we'll meet you there. Over. It was a nice stay here in Grenada. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. It was really nice. It was it's really hot. We got to see a lot of things. We did a tour around the island. We've been doing a lot of work on the boat, cleaning things up repairing things here and there after the 14-day passage from Norfolk. Now we're ready to get going. We've been on the dock here for more than enough days. We're ready to head out. It's been a really nice introduction to the Caribbean that we're looking forward to. First snorkel back at it. This is the Sculpture Marine Park off of Moliner Point, I think it's called. We're gonna check out some sculptures that are underwater. There are some new ones that were just put in. So excited to see that. Can you show me your sickness bands? Are those helping? Can you help them a little bit? Is your tummy not feeling very good? Whatever it. 
You feeling fine? Well, what's our speed here? Eight. Eight knots? So things are a little bit on the rough side on the way to Karaoku. You think this is what sailing the Caribbean's like? Yeah, probably. It's kind of like what it was like in the Grenadines when we were here a couple of years ago. Yeah. Kind of bigger seas. We're in the ocean in between the islands, so that's probably it. The wind is 17 to 20 knots true, and apparent wind is around 20 knots. We're making good speed though, eight knots speed over water and about the same speed over ground. A little bit faster because there's a half knot current which is helping us out. So why is it always that we're heading up wind? I don't know, it seems we like to sail at 30 to 60 degrees and it's just always, always there. When we sail, that's how it is. And our seas are always coming at us instead of pushing us along. It's not too bad up and down today. It's been fairly calm. Yeah, we're always close hauled. Either that or we're dead downwind. Yeah. Nothing really in the middle. But we're usually close hauled. Yeah, 35 to 40 degrees, trying to go as close to the wind as possible. Yeah, yeah that's the only it seems to be. You're going to cast us off? OK. Windy day at Karaoku. It seems like it's windy all the time here, 15 to 20 knots. We're in the trade winds, so it makes for nice sailing. Today we're at Tyrell Bay and we're going to check out the town. Ready to go, guys? <laughs> oh yeah, and we're going to a beach, Paradise Beach. Beach only? Well, we got to get on the dinghy before we go anywhere. Our first stop after leaving the marina, Tyrell Bay, is a big anchorage, but also a packed anchorage. Got the paint throughout the stake. We also have a chain with a lock and a root. And that's handy. The wheels you can manage to bring the dinghy all the way up from the beach. How does Tyrell Bay look to you so far? It's like a working area. We're gonna find Paradise Beach. Maybe that'll be more like a paradise. Yeah. Oops. So Miss Grace sunk that boat right there. How did it sink? Just for you. Here, you have to be extra careful. People here are crazy drivers. <laughs> well, we found lobster here for 120 EC, and Daddy can just catch it by himself.
Do you have second? <laughs> How about Sierra? I got first. You were first, you went the furthest? Oh, Sierra. Yeah. There they go. Oh. oh. Yeah, turds is the theme of the day here. What turds? Another turd hat. We'd have two birds turd on our <laughs> shirts. No. Goat takes a turd as she walks across the street. The bird walked right up to Everett's shirt and took a turd. <laughs> right onto his sleeve. Then Famous went years. away. Shot it right over on his sleeve and then walked away. If there's one thing about Grenada, it's the rainbows. We've seen so many of them here, and they're all beautiful. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors, and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Can you tell us where we are? Um, in Sandy Island. What do you think of this place? Nice. This is a lot better place. It's a lot clearer, it's not as rough. The island and the sand's really nice. Are you going to do any snorkeling today, Everett? No, I don't want to. Why not? I don't like snorkeling. Since when? Since last year. So Everett was doing anchoring today. He was very helpful at the very front. Let out the chain and wear the headphones. So now, since we're done anchoring, we're gonna go to the beach. Do we have to check the anchor? Yep, we're, that's what we're gonna do once we're done this stupid video. Don't you like watching videos? Yeah, but I don't think this one will be as interesting. My shoulders, cause I know yesterday ain't coming back. Mm. The anchor is dotted with sand. Very good. Listen to the ocean, that it's unsaid, words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Sandy Island is one of the most beautiful places we've been to in a long time. After an amazing couple of days anchored, I discovered a few more boat issues to add to the list. One of our props has seized and now refused to feather. This is what it should look like. While looking forward to some grilled meat for dinner, we discovered our barbecue had stopped working. I'm done with fixing stuff. Time for a Christmas movie tonight. So Ever, how do you like Sandy Island? Um, the beach on Sandy Island is more the paradise beach. What time are you guys going to check out tomorrow? I was thinking in the morning about nine. Why do we need to check out? 
When you leave a country, they have to tell you you can leave and stamp your passport because the next country will want to know where you came from. And so on Friday, we're popping over to the other island. Did you see it? From Sandy Island, that next big island over, that's where we're going? Yeah, that you can see in the distance. Looks like you got some leaks here on your side. Yeah, a little Water bit of spots. wet. Should wipe that up. Is that because we didn't close the window fast enough when it rained? Let me get on the side there. Fresh water or salt water? Salt water. Okay. Yep, salt That's water. Okay. This is the view from Everett's room, the best view. And the best wind. It's nice and cool here, but it's so hot in the rest of the boat. I remember this view because when we're back at our house, we don't have a view like this. 